my brother, who is younger than me. I just want to make really good art and make people happy and to provide them with something they'll never reg regret, really. That's huge. Like, I would love to make somebody happy like that because art makes me happy, so giving them a gift is huge. Tattooing is a different form of art, just on a completely different scale. It takes my art and it gives it to somebody who will have it on them forever. And that way the art's actually living and breathing. And that to me is extraordinary. Well, I started off drawing. Um, I would do charcoal pieces. And then I started oil painting. I was getting tattooed by Adam, actually, who is my current mentor. And I showed him my artwork. We were discussing how I was an art major. and. Um, he wanted to see my stuff, so I showed him a bunch of my artwork, and he offered me an apprenticeship if I wanted it. And I, that's something I would never give up because I always was interested in tattoos. I was always drawn to tattoos, but I didn't know really how to get started, and that just happened. And it's really, really lucky. I'm really lucky. Build a machine. How you apply ink to the skin. How you prep the skin. How you prep the artwork. Prep the stencil to put on the skin. Aftercare. I'm learning every day. I'm working hard every day, outside the shop, inside the shop. When I'm not at the shop, like, it's all the time. Tattooing is probably one of the biggest forms of trusting a stranger you'll ever encounter. You are providing them to permanently mark your skin forever. So that's a huge respect. Um, and I'm, that's why I'm working so hard to really make my apprenticeship, you know, as best I can be because this is, this is a huge career. I can tattoo friends right now and family, and I have such a good support system that they'll allow me to, even though I'm not like official, I can still uh, tattoo them, which is really nice. That's part of the most frustrating thing a little bit is that um, I can replicate on paper. And so when I try to replicate on skin or fake skin, it's just a whole different technique. So trying to master that because I can see it, but I can't produce it yet. I always want to get better and push myself harder. But as long as the client's happy, that's my goal. As an artist, you're making, whether that's painting, sculpting, clay, and tattooing's just like that. You're putting your hand into something, part of yourself into something, and you're giving that to somebody. And to have it on their skin and have other people see it all the time and not just hang in a wall or a cabinet, like, it's different.